So now let's talk about the core, which is like a fiery orb wrapped in a kind of force field, wrapped in electricity, and it's its own blueprint. So I'll show you what I have going on here. So basically, you can see this. This is the electricity, and, and the intensity is set to zero, so you can't actually see it. But this will be rotating around our force field, which is like a blue shield. I'll show you that now. This is from the Cortana Muriel Epic Games Store character that comes for free. The only difference I've made to it is I've added a panner on it, so it looks like it's kind of moving. And I'll show you my material a bit. And all this is is to be like wrapping up the super hot uh, fire orb that's going to be inside of this, and there's going to be electricity on the outside of this. So that's that. And then what happens is at the very beginning. This fires off a Niagara emitter, which is super, super simple. I'm going to go through it really fast. This is all it is. That's it. So this one's a little like, little like flash, tiny little flash for like a half second. It's for 0.2 seconds. Here are the values. And then the second one is just getting like stretched out. It's just to give like anticipation before the explosion. It goes from 0.7 to 50. It is one second long, very, very quick, but it just adds to the overall effect. So that gets fired off. Sorry, I'm solo this. And then we set the visibility of fire orb, which is this. And I can show you how this works. So this looks like nothing right now, but if I set the glow, you can see exactly what it is. This is what's getting fired off, and I'm setting the glow inside my uh, blueprint, which is what you want to do. I don't want to be. I don't want this to be hot before it is actually needed. So this gets turned on, the force field gets turned on, which I showed you, and then we have a timeline to set the scale, which is saying the world scale of the fire orb. And I always want the force field shield to be a bit bigger. I want it to be on the outside, so it's times by 1.5, so it grows at a, it's, a, it's growing at a faster rate. This is my timeline. So it starts off like at zero, then it gets a uh, gain size, then it gets smaller, then it gets big, and then it goes all the way down. Make sure I show my values goes down and then it gets it goes up to 16 in size so it gets pretty big pretty fast so that's done and then I create a dynamic material instance for the electricity which is that lightning which if you remember this is a very similar lightning to the lightning that I that's on the outside it's basically the same lightning that I did for the outside of uh, the base of my glass basically the same thing just hot lightning and Setting that, I set the opacity of it for the for for when that's going on, and then this second sequence determines the opacity of that lightning. So you can see it's just getting all the way up to one over 0.3 seconds. So it's very fast turning on of that lightning. And then for the fire orb, I want the glow to be a dynamic material instance. So I'm just setting that so the orb gets hotter and hotter as it goes along. So it goes up to 300. So before, if you remember when we were looking at the fire orb, it's at zero and it was like dark. And now this will be 300 where it'll be super, super bright and for our uh, core explosion. And then there's a delay. Then I turn off the visibility of the force field and the fire. I delay and then I turn off the electro shield after 0.2 seconds. So there's some different elements going on here, but the main point is that uh, the force field and the fire orb are turned off for a second and the electricity is around for just 0.2 seconds more and sometimes just a little bit of variation so not everything is going off at once can add to the overall effect we're creating that electricity inside of houdini all i did is make a sphere and then i blasted uh, everything except this and i just set it to non delete non selected and then i made a copy of it by just making a transform and merging it so we have like this shape because i'm again i'm trying to create like the outside of my uh, fire orb, so it's going to be like electricity containing it. And then I did a poly extrude to give it some depth, and then I did some lightning. And this lightning, you can see my values here. Just a bit of lightning around the edges of this, so it's like it, the lightning will try to follow along with the shapes that I've made. It looks pretty cool, but I need some more, so I just again made a transform, rotated it merged it back together so now I have like this ball of lightning that's surrounding my core transform it boom and then I don't actually need this to be a bat because 
I don't, this isn't going to be moving around. This is just staying static. So all I did is right click, save geometry, export it as an OBJ, bring that into your contents folder. And then I have it here. And then this electric or the lightning material is again, the same as what it is on the other lightning. Uh, it's just not set. And then when this goes off, see if I can see this inside my blueprint actually. Yeah, you can see how this looks. Looks pretty cool. So this is the lightning that will be surround that goes around my explosion. And that's how it works. So I wanted to just show everything that I've been so I can show you the different pieces of this in case, you know, I haven't been looking at the actual effect yet so much. But when these hit their final thing, you can see there's our first explosion going off with the trails and it's transparency is correct. So you can see here that this is our inner core, which is getting brighter. There's the force field on the outside, and then there's our electricity. And for our core, if you remember, I have, I don't know if I mentioned this, you need, I also have the exact same event tick rotation on the electric orb that I do inside my rocks. It's pretty much the exact same thing. So it just makes it so this electricity is rotating around this, so it's not static. Because remember, this is just a mesh, it's not actually a bat. So we have our three elements here. We have our core, we have our force field, and our electricity. And then you can see those two go off and then the electricity is around for just 0.2 seconds longer. And I think that adds to the overall effect and impactness of it. Like the, the inside is gone, but the electricity is still going outward.